now it is night time. Oh my, you appear to be troubled by something, Estelle. Huh? R really? We as humans grow through these afflictions. These are a trial given to us by the goddess. How do you... Er... I... I... Okay, every, I, every time I want to say, I see that, I just want to say adios. It's like, I... Dio. It's, it's almost adios. It's idios. Who art on high, please guide this beleaguered youth. I guess, adios. That's, that's even worse. Wait, okay, that's fine, but I want to... Until the day has passed, there's nothing better than peace. War should never happen again. Oh, Idios. I give thanks for the peace and tranquility thou hast bestowed upon us this day. Maybe I should start making preparations for dinner with Alita. Today I'm thinking about making my husband's favorite corn cream stew. But maybe I'd better check with Alita first. Hmm. I wonder what I should do about the menu this evening. Sounds like a plan. When I think about the days after the Hundred Days War ended... Hmm... That seems a little repetitive. Uh, there is something amazing about the reconstruction of the Liberal Kingdom. Normalization of diplomatic ties with the Empire, development of horrible technology, fostering trade... Queen Elizabeth's political finesse is really something else. The set dressing in this game really is something else. To the point that it makes me feel weird that I can't interact with any of it. Estelle, I heard the news. It seems like you've finally become a bracer, haven't you? Oh. Didn't I have to talk with him already? I feel like I did. Right, um... Now, which room had the girl in it? This one. Hmm. That sounds familiar as well. Uh, it's late at night, so surely the person, surely the guy in the ticket booth is, has something different to say. How utterly disappointing. There wasn't a single chick who was my type! There was a chick on the flight from Boast yesterday. She had a strange accent, but she was quite a looker. I wonder if she's still in Roland. Hmm. That reminds me, I heard a new... Iode? was discovered in the Malga mine. That may be, this may be something to look forward to. Ha ha ha! Simon! It was certainly worth coming here to discuss business this time. It seems I'll be able to stock up on Septium as planned. I might even be staying in Roland a little longer. Still in Joshua? Bridge. It looks like you had a pretty rough first day. Was everything alright without Cassius being around? Uh. Hmm. Okay, right.
I feel like the style, the style look feels a little bit different to me. Like, this is clearly different, but it's also more similar to, what, to how it was than last time. Uh, I've heard that you two had some major success recently, Estelle and Joshua. I knew I was right to keep my eye on you two. Tee hee, keep up the good work. I'm a fan of you both. Of all things, I heard Pat and Luke went off to that tower north of here. I was heard you rescued them from being attacked by monsters. You did well, that's just what I'd expect from Cassius's kids. Yeah, uh... uh nothing, uh... Damn it, Joshua, you're not supposed to say that. Uni came back too, and so all I can say is I'm glad that everyone's safe. And she definitely was not eaten by monsters. Miss Holden was talking about a lot of... Was talking lots about you guys and saying you did a great job. Um, this one. Uh, hmm, okay, this is Darkest Time. So, Space and Mirage. I could actually make a plus hit. Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Do I want to buy food, or do I want to buy weapons? Well, I can only afford, like, one weapon. enough so that I can buy... Oh, actually I still have enough for the weapon. Cool! No, I didn't actually. Hey there, Roland's two newest bracers. I look forward to your success. I'm about ready to close up shop, so if you have any purchases to make, I ask that you be quick about it. Nope. Nope. Not quite. that time again already. I put in a good day's work. Guess it's about time I close up shop. Okay, sounds good, but first, uh... Sell me your rod. And also, I can afford one of these things. Oh, hello. There's a there's a range thing. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Joshua? Hmm? Do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill of a staff. And your nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? 
Um, I'm not sure that's a compliment. Although, I don't think it's a put down either. It's more of a neutral statement. There's maybe like a backhanded compliment, though. Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened at the tower? Yeah... I was careless, and Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation because of it. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have seriously been injured. Of course, I would have been fine. Excuse me, but Luke might not have been. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'd be able to stay on top of things. She does seem pretty carefree on the surface, doesn't she? If we fail today, then all that's left is to do... All that is left to do is to take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking it and worrying about it? Well, it's definitely not like you to worry about things that haven't happened yet. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed when you let something like what happened today discourage you? You're right. This isn't like me at all! I don't think a serious expression really suits her face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Uh, I think his intentions are quite clear, actually. <laughs> was it though? Was it really? I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. <laughs> In before fire. Where our father dies to, due to a tragic, uh, well, we'll see. Okay, the music is not bad. The building does not appear to be on fire. I think maybe we have dodged a bullet here. We're home! We finished reporting the guild like you asked. Good work, kids. The details of your report will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank, rank of advancement in the future. Bleh. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. And before I forget, I got a copy of the news you wanted. There's this letter for you at the guild, too. A letter, huh? Well, I'm gonna get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad... Uh, thanks for coming when you did. You really helped back there. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy! How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is! Ha ha ha! There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come! Jump into your father's loving arms! <laughs> That's great. I guess she's not as depressed as I had thought her to be. Perhaps I should be thanking you, Joshua. I didn't do much, I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. That she is, but she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than just a few stumble blink blocks in our line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own feet. Uh What? <laughs> No, 
Wait! Cooking is supposed to be about passion! Exploding is so passionate, right? <laughs> Once more! <laughs> that daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire. Again. At this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. Ha! <laughs> uh. Hmm. A message from their Bonian Empire. What?! Well, that doesn't sound very good. Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Estelle's Explosion over rice. I hope I actually get a recipe for this. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will, your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> This is raw talent as best. Well, maybe over easy talent. Today certainly has been a busy but great day. We qualified as junior bracers. We had our first real assignment. And I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. <laughs> that is what we call damned by faint praise right there. First, I thought I might have to pitch it out of the window when you weren't looking. But it seems this that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright, then how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Wait a second. Are you really leaving it again so soon? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time I'm going to be away for a while. Ha! Hold a minute! You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing, that's just too soon! It's about the letter, isn't it? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. At least the house didn't burn down. Uh, yet. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. Brace's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all the, the jobs here in the Roland branch? I do believe, Estelle, that's what we are for. Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, uh, how about the both of you two handle them instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I, I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazar to handle the, the rest. So what do you say? Uh, sure! You're okay with these two, right Joshua? Uh, that's the idea. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know the change of plan before I leave. Alright. I'm starting to feel more determined than ever! We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs if we don't want to tarnish your name while you're gone. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. My, oh, my dear Lena, who art in heaven. Can you see your daughter now? 
Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. People lose their trust in you at this age. You might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay you back for these last 16 years. I'm only 45! And what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild! Actually, he looks pretty good for that age. It must be, I must say. Go the one headed for Grenzo, or the one headed for Bose. I'll be headed for Grenzo. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. Wait, when do you usually wake up, Estelle? 10? You have to get up early to see him off at 10 in the morning? Joshua. You'd better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is don't offer alcohol to minors! Because you can't actually show minors drinking alcohol in Japan. Or at least that's the best for broadcasting. I don't know that that's actually the case for... I don't think that's actually the case for, um... For... Games. But I know that's actually, like, really strict for the broadcasting standards in Japan. That you, minors cannot touch alcohol. They cannot do it. That is why you always have... Yeah. That's why you always have minors acting un-minor-like in anime. Where... Where they always turn it down. And it's why whenever someone does have alcohol, it's con it was conveniently their 21st birthday. Or whatever. I think it is 21st for Japan, actually. Anyway. I'm not like Shara, who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. <laughs> That's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement starting within the Empire. That sound... yeah. Yeah, it does. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Embassy to see what turns up. Hmm. Please do, Joshua. Don't spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts. And despite being a little rough, uh, her talent with a staff is... No laughing matter. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll make a first-class bracer someday. Eventually. In the far distant future. But for now, she's like a babe in arms, who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? My, how time flies. It sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure? Oh. Okay, phone taken care of. Um, 
Are you sure you won't reconsider taking the, those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you cannot erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Man, Cassius is a really good dad. <laughs> he even he even has he has the mustache and everything. A father's love, a new beginning. It looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Hassel, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself. And, you know, I actually get the impression that she does very little that you would not do yourself. I mean, you're a little more mature about it, but I I think you're... I think you're just as much of a goof as she is. It's just you have enough experience that it doesn't get you into as much trouble. But you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work. You're not getting any younger, you know? Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Sherizard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please don't be. I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Streak. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult. But please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. <laughs> you definitely understand the way I think. The Grenzel Bound Airliner, Lynn will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh-oh, better go take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's asked to, been asked to do this time. But when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been home. Okay then.
I imagine that Joshua tagged me along. It's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. So, what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we stop at the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Ina and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go!